All right, what is going on? It is a Friday night going on 1.35 in the morning. Decided to play a game called Hotel Greenwood. It's a typical spooky game. Psychological horror, my kind of thing. I hate playing these kind of games, but um, it's definitely a thing to watch, I guess. So, all right. After the death of Ashley Anderson, who worked as a service worker on the Greenwood Hotel, unexplainable events occur. On the night of October 6th, when Ashley went to clean room 352, she was attacked by customers in the room. Despite all the interventions, the young girl dies. After this unbelievable murder, the attackers admit that they used Ashley for their ritual in their room. Exactly one year after the incident, the customers who stayed at room 352 are found dead. When the authorities cannot clarify this mysterious incident, they decide to shut the hotel down. But even though the hotel is closed, it is said that every year on October 6th, the lights turn on and strange noises are heard inside. Are these claims really true? To investigate the situation, Detective Aaron Parker, probably me, sets off for the Greenwood Hotel. So, rituals. Yeah. And death. And that thing right there. So, um, without further ado, we're just gonna hop right on into it. turn on on the 6th of October every year they cut off all the power in here my flashlight back out you can never have too much light in these kind of games um, but if it's like this for the entire time hey assalamu alaikum anything goes let's see how it works out it's like we got some keys right here Room 244, I'll take that. 343, I'll take that too as well. Is there any more? No. <laughs> I'll leave that on. Can I press this? Ding! Can I turn this light on? It's not. I guess we have too much light. Okay, let's check these drawers. Hey, two. Oh, came over here. Room 247. I'm assuming it's locked. Hotel Greenwood. Greenwood offers you a privileged experience combining comfort and con... I, I can't read right now. Whether you are a backpacker or a slow traveler with your family or a hotel top, it looks just like some RAM pamphlet. Doors locked. This is going to the Batman layer right here. A modern art statue. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. 
Okay, crouch, kind of run. Speed walk. Nah, not going down there. No, sir. Footsteps all over the place. Um, looks like that's locked. Can I get a soda? So I guess I'm going to start going into some rooms right now. So 244 is the next door I got to go into. 240, 241. This must be 244. Yep. Okay. It's a nice room. Pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Got a bathroom in here. Turn the light on because you can never have too much light. And is there anybody behind the shower curtain? Nah. Hey, right then. Gonna move on along. Um, drawers. Nothing, nothing, nothing. More light? Nope. Sadly, got a chest right here. Nothing. Um, oh. <gasps> you can't cat fellow. It's got weird eyes. The haunting hangers. Okay. Moving along. I don't think there's anything in that room at all, so. What else do I got? What are the rooms? 247, 343. So 247 was the other one. <sighs> Good lord, why am I yawning? I'm gonna guess 247 is beyond the door with the chains on it. So we're just gonna go on ahead and just ignore that for now. Go up to 343. That's interesting. So no, let me see that when I walked in. My name is Frank. I work for the Broadway News Agency. I came here without anyone's permission to do a story to investigate Ashley Anderson and the 6th of October events. But now I can't get out of here. The rumors were true. This place is truly cursed. I've been hearing strange noises since I arrived. There are writings written in blood on the walls. I don't know what to do. I think the best option is to wait until help arrives. I'll be hiding in the basement. Please help me. God forgive me for my sins. Okay. Is there someone else inside? This is so weird. I knew something unusual was going on in this hotel. You have to help that poor man, but be careful. We don't know if he is. Reach the basement of the hotel. Alright, well, the game said so, so we might as well. Alright. By the way, I don't even understand why this British accent, eh, British accent, it's just, it's just a weird habit of mine. Oh. The lights are off. It's incredibly dark down here. Alright, let's go down to the basement. Or hopefully the lights aren't flickering. Help! Okay, Frank, I'm on my way. Damn it. The situation is worse than we thought. I'm going to send a team there right away. In the meantime, find a way to get in. Mm-hmm. 
find a way to get in. Maybe I missed something in the rooms. Let's start from the top and work our way back down. Thanks for skull. Oh, this is a nice spider web. Spider man was here. Yeah, if I had Tom Holland roaming around these halls with me, I wouldn't be so scared. And like, you know, a normal way, you know, as Spider Man, of course. I don't watch him in any of his other shows, so. <sighs> no, Iron Man. I would do, I, I would definitely do this, like, traveling to this hotel with Iron Man. I hear music. you off. Are we gonna do this all night? God damn it. I'm not gonna win this fight. Um, welcome to Greenwood. Get your shit and get out. Jesus. just started. Where's Iron Man? I need him to help me investigate this place. And Spider-Man. Fuck it. Bring them both. Let's play a game. Let's not say we did. Okay. I hear you humming. tell where she's coming from. Is she gonna chase me around? Cause I, I can barely run, bro. Are you in here? by Chapman and his crew. Oh, well. Find out what the password is. Oh, yeah, that's what I was doing up here. Um, let me see. Is there anything in here showing me? So I just have this. Can't move the paper. Drawers. Doors locked. Can't find the rotten in blood. And there I go again with my Bruce accent for no reason. Okay.
Wait a minute. I, I just, I picked up a key. Didn't I? Yeah. It may belong to one of the doors on the ground floor. Okay, that's my next objective. Ground floor. I forgot what I didn't even know what I was doing for a second. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Gonna open the <laughs> door. I'm gonna open this door. Please don't jump out. Really? Is that her right there? <laughs> Motherfucker. Screwdriver's shirt. Candle. Box of candles with the hocus pocus flame. Right? Look at that. The gray flame or the black flame, whatever they call it. Um What am I grabbing from in here? Oh, hey, check it out. A key. Okay, open this too. What are they in? Laundry list. Apparently I don't need that. Okay. 241, 247, 343, 244, 241, 243, 244, 244. All right, Frank, I'm one step closer to coming down there to save you, as long as you don't kill me. What is it, 241, right? 240. Must be the next one. T41. Hello. Coming in here. Can I ring my mom real quick? Ooh, get some food. Ew. Rotten food. That bed is probably been sitting here forever. I'm so hungry. I wish there was something to eat. Madam, what did you muster up for food this evening? Is that a fucking head? <laughs> meal of the day, fresh human head meat, blended with wine and blood. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? This is a fucking prank. Today. Something in his head. Ooh, the key card. It's not a fun game. I don't like it. Key card. Um, it's not the basement. It has a pin pad. Um, must be the third floor. That's comforting. Oh. A Ouija board. I will no longer run away from her. It's time to face my fear. I tried talking with her, 
uh, talking to her with this thing I found in the basement. When I called Ashley, they said she was no longer here and they had taken over her body. I asked them to release me and what they wanted from me. They told me that they were holding me captive here until someone else took my place and that I would never be able to get out of here. After that moment, I realized that there was no hope left. Demons have inhabited this place and they won't let me go. I guess it's too late for me now. Somewhere. I'm looking for a sticky note of some sort, I think. No. Oh. No. Ooh, the numbers on the Ouija board. One, three, six, nine. I feel pretty smart. Can I jump? Yeah. Hooray. Hooray. One, three, six, nine. Help is on the way. Okay. One, three, six, nine. Enter. do that for God damn it oh that's for Christmas slides must be the Christmas update and that's it anyways uh, this looks promising I saw a screwdriver I know exactly where to get one hey on Dave what's in here that's what don't open. Alright. If I don't have to, I won't. Let me get that screwdriver, dude. And we're going on a trip to our favorite creepy room. We got the... Fucking fucking hell. Getting the fuck out of here in real life, dude. I would not. I wouldn't be here. Did he just go in there? Alright. I'm about to fucking find you. I'm not ready for it, but I have to. If I want to beat this game and just get it over with, I have to. Kind of like Poppy's Playtime, where I had to crawl through the vents. I actually had to run through the vents while Poppy, whatever, Huggy Wuggy is his name, started chasing me. That was creepy. been here it's like time is frozen the demons don't let me live or die 
Maybe I'm already dead, who knows. My soul is getting weaker day by day. I have nothing left to eat. And worst of all, I may have found a way out of the situation. But I have no strength left to do it. The only way is to break the spell and release Ashley. And for this, I need five candles and an item belonging to Ashley. After all the materials are found, they should be placed on the pentagram I drew on the ground. So the spell cast on Ashley that night will be gone. At least I hope so. Anyway, it doesn't matter what I say. I'm n I'm, I am now a dead and faithless man. Sorry, mate. And I just picked up a key and that is to room 352. Okay, dude, like, stay there. Don't fucking move. Well, knock, knock back at you. Hello? Are you at here? Don't look like it. Just knocking for fun. All right, um. I got room 352 key. The key to room 352. Sounds so much better when you say it that way. Um, no. 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 Know it's about me by hey burlap sacks, so so freaky. But I'm a big boy, and I'm it's not burlap sack, we're good. <laughs> ah! Fuck. Flashlight. Fuck, fuck. Okay, let's go to 352. Let's just make it. Let's just keep the drilling going so that the next scary part won't be so scary. Room 352, I think, would be over here. That's where I saw her in the beginning of the game. She was standing right in front of it. 
Yep. Right there. Eeky. Yep. Nope. Yep. This is where she died. It's a lot of fucking blood. Evidence. What is left here? <gasps> no hangers. Walmart Street. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, gather the materials. I need to get more can. Wait, is there a candle in here? No desk. No this. Blood. They punched the picture too. How fucking rude. <laughs> a little bit ago. Are you ready? Shit. Oh, fuck it, no. I want to get off that floor, though. I'm ready to get off that floor. Back down to the lobby. Where it seems neutral. And there's light. Thank God. There's light. that key cool how many candles do I got I got three candles and this key I get all these rooms though. They get all the candles in these rooms. Don't mind me just walking through. I just walked in here, didn't I? Shitty water come and take your RP. Yeah. I'll take that. Okay, 
Running. I was doing so good in this game too, but I get so freaked out. Fucking fuck. Last candle. Give me that shit. My name is Frank. I work for the. I read that already. Okay. I just never grabbed my fucking candle from there. Okay, get me out of here. I got all the candles I got. I think that name tag is Ashley's ritual last piece thing. I have a lighter. Let's light this bitch. And I hope when the candles fall, the lights this place on fire because this is exactly what needs to happen to this place. It needs to get set on fire. Down to the basement. Let's end it. End it, end it, end it, end it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. List updated. Teach the exit. Hallelujah. Get me out of here. It's your turn. Nah. It's my turn to get the fuck out of here. I made it. I'm right here. I did the job. Ash is pretty freaking safe. So Greenwood, um, it was pretty good. I liked it. It was, uh, it's quite odd, quite weird. But, um, anyways, th this is absolutely the first game I've ever actually recorded. Um, I like to stream a lot of horror games. I'm not big into it yet, you know, like, or even streaming in general. Um, I'm still learning OBS. I'm still learning how to, you know, edit stuff and just become a typical content creator but i want to be able to do that and the kind of content i love to watch is people play horror games um so i just wanted to hop on that you know train for a little while and see what it's all about um so yeah hotel greenwood i did it without spider-man and iron man um <laughs> but um yeah so 
thank you for you know viewing this and watching it i um, i appreciate any kind of um support like subscribe say that kind of stuff um but it really i'm just doing it for fun for my own amusement i'm not out there to gather anything i just want people to enjoy what um i can put out there so anyways that's it for my recording it is 2 15 a.m uh that lasted what about 40 minutes 45 minutes that wasn't too bad quick game but um once again 40 minutes once again thank you for um watching um and i hope you guys are living well and staying scared so keep it up with your lives adios until next time bye